Welcome back. We're sitting at the campfire. We're probably going to make it daytime before we leave. We were stocked up. And we're going to go down there. Try to find silence. Thanks, Rocket. And see what exactly he has done with Hades. Because he captured Hades. We thought we destroyed him, but we did not. And we are going to go down into that valley around that lake and try to locate our frenemy, Mr. Silence. Kind of simulate the idea that Aloy took a nap here, rested, got re-equipped, recouped, and we'll head down. That is an impressive sight. Not that goat. That Horus. Look how far away that thing is, and that right there is one of its arms. It's huge, and when the Burning Sands DLCs drop, DLC drops, the trailer for it indicated that one of those is alive and moving. Now, why it is, none of us know, but that prospect is very scary. The burrow are sitting out there. So we are traversing the lake here onto the other side of the shore. And I'm not sure we don't want to try to go around. Kind of come up this way and come down on top of it. Crossing the lake itself is a little sketchy. We could probably do it on one of the arms. But I'm not sure we want to do that. Yeah, for indeed, Arky. The, the, the notion of a of a Horus being alive is enough to be like humanity ending event again and that is a scary idea alright so it looks like we're gonna have to swim so let's go ahead and get the smoke bombs up in case we have to evade something not the button I wanted Scarabs under the water here. I think what'll be a more int I have my theories. I think that I mean it's it's L.A. right because Hollywood sign is at least part of it's L.A. because a Hollywood sign is there. We don't know where Elysium is. And wouldn't it be interesting if the DLC was centered around Elysium? Remember Gaia said that, or at one point she will say, that shortly after Zero Day, contact between Zero Dawn and Elysium was lost. What if it was intentionally cut? What if there is another tribe out there <laughs> that knows the past? far more greatly than we do that's been living in isolation. They know what a Horus is. What if the Horus has been, ever since Stand Down, has been taken over by them as some sort of guardian? I think that would be an interesting plot twist. That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Like, I don't even know if Elysium is there. But I think it would be an interesting story to tell. All right, there are several several lore points here that we're going to go through real quick. New home, voice recording. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. You can't even speak. Now, the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand, well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin, anyway. So Silence is going to use the core of this Horus to house Hades from his temporary home. And that will enable Silence to begin talking to him again. Because when Hades first fled the, uh, the, the uh, Gaia Prime explosion, he found a Titan core to hide in. Text log. log. Most of it's redacted. 
looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Day one. Despite my concerns about missing couplings, it was relatively simple to install Hades on the detached processing orb. The subject appears to be fully conscious and completely helpless. Even so, it will never divulge its contents willingly. Ergo, it's time for some experimentation. Day two. My initial attempts at coercion have failed, but patience is in order. It's self-aware, so it can suffer. All it takes is the correct stimulus at sufficient intensity. Day 5. Success. The irony is delicious. Various forms of data produce discomfort in the subject, but none of more that so than natural imagery. Holographic representations of plants and animals work best. The more vivid, the better. The effect appears to be excruciating. One loop in particular of rabbits hopping through a field of flowers produced paroxysms of agony. Very soon, I believe, the subject will become compliant. Day 6. I've extracted some fascinating technical specs on Gaia's data structure, specifically how her heur heuristic matrix interweaved with her subordinate functions. Yet the more I learn about the system's intended workings, and especially Hades' relatively simple role as an extinction failsafe, the more I wonder about the signal that corrupted it. What could have possibly transformed a low-level machine intelligence into a fully conscious superentity capable of strategic planning, deceit, or even genocide? Some form of previously unknown Pharaoh software, perhaps? But I don't see how such technology could be sufficiently advanced unless further technical discoveries were made after the destruction of the biosphere, perhaps by survivors of Elysium? It all seems far-fetched. Back to the source, then. Eventually, Hades will tell me what I want to know. Day 7. It appears that my coercive efforts come at a significant cost. Hades' digital convulsions produce waves of feedback that corrupt its data structure, and the effect is accelerating. The interrogation is quite literally disintegrating its mind, piece by piece. By the time I'm done, there will be little left. No matter. The data I've extracted and will continue to extract is worth any price. As long as I can access it all before the subject becomes the electronic equivalent of a hollowed-out skull. Day 10. Finally, the revelation I've been seeking has revealed itself. Astonishing. And terrifying. Even to me. With it, the seeds of a plan have formed within my mind. The next few months will test my capacities more than any previous challenge. I'll have to stretch my intellect, reach higher, and dig deeper than ever before. Yes, I'm confident it can be accomplished. With a little help, of course. Day 12. My work here is done. I've learned all I can. Hades deserves no pity, but it is indeed in a pitiful state. It is time to relocate it to a more impressive position for its date with destiny. About that. Aloy still hasn't returned to Meridian nor learned of my ruse, but she will. It's only a matter of time. And then the pieces will begin to fall into place. So Silence tortured. Remember to clonk that follow button. Silence tortured Hades with images of the natural world in order to make him compliant, to get him to tell Silence all the things he originally promised him to begin with. So, a button. A button which Silence wishes us to press, obviously. from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. Find out. 
He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. And I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Silence is... It's hard to categorize him as a bad guy. He's not a good guy. But he's certainly not evil. He just has very different priorities than well, see what, this what you is. would think aligns with standard moral convention. Aloy is driven by her purpose. That she is the key to the Zero Dawn terraforming machine and getting it back online and saving the world. And it's a noble purpose, but she's driven by it. Silence is driven by something that he shares with Aloy. Deliberate curiosity. And so much so that that is his purpose. The almost compulsive Here need to acquire knowledge like a fool. at whatever cost. By rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He can just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm going to have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. That is also something they share. Aloy likes to be in a superior position. You can tell by the way she speaks to others. Silence is her perfect foil because at the times he is in a superior position of being informed, he condescends to Aloy, much like Aloy condescends to the tribals. Oh, oh well, I'll take care of that, or of course you don't understand. She's, she's very much like that. She does not like it when someone else is in that position over her. Using Frost won't help here. Okay, that one missed, so let's try to take you out and then we'll deal with the ones on the ground. Air machines are the worst. We don't have very much cover here at all. Is that a long legs back there? No. It's just another scrapper, okay. I don't mind fire claws and frost claws as long as I'm not trying to get the webbing. If you don't need their webbing, or their, well, their heart, but you don't need their webbing, well, just, just use the, uh, the spike thrower, man. Explosive spikes wreck those things. But if you're parts hunting, yeah, they're a pain. The one thing, oh, I bet, I bet. The one thing I always found interesting was they gave, they gave players a path on the resource pouches through the herbalist to, if you had the shards, you could buy the part. But they never did that on the upgrade path for weapons and armor. And I was like, well, why not? You know, we can't be the only person who's ever taken down a, a fire claw or a storm bird. Now, I'm not saying those parts should be cheap, but it's, it should be reasonable. You know, a couple thousand for a fire claw heart seems seems like it should be in the game for those people who don't want to spend their life bouncing back and forth between machine sites. It seemed to be something that was just a miss because the herbalist wasn't added until a later patch when players are like, "This is ridiculous. I don't feel like hunting blue jays all day." And we will get that green shine here. Um, I just felt it was like, I remember as I was preparing for this run, like, I'm hunting all these frost claws and fire claws and tremor tusks and, you know, slaughter spines were the worst because they just wouldn't spawn me in Apex. And I was like, the fact that I had to kill nearly 20 slaughter spines before an Apex slaughter spine spawned was a bit nuts. And I just remember going, I'm willing to pay for the part. I've got the shards. 
I've got I, I can sell a thousand machine uh, machine muscle and have the the uh, the shards for a heart. Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Probably told him where other stuff was that you don't know about. Where was the second one? That's a... That is a... Well, you didn't notice me at all, did you? I don't know. Hey, there's another one. Get the horn. I don't know, it just seems like I get the that for some people, and for me a great deal of the time, there's a there's a relaxation in the hunting and preparing in Zero Dawn. Like I, I don't I played my normal playthrough on a more on a harder difficulty than playing this NG Plus run, but this NG Plus run is designed so that I can easily progress, so that I can continue to speak and explain on things. But I like the the hunting and planning part. But it, there was a point at which I was like, I've had enough. I've hunted enough frost claws. Where, like, I would sit down for, like, an... Oh, I can play for an hour and pick the things up I need. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. It might be handy to resupply. You know, if he's got a bench. Oh, there! What's an aura doing this far west? What's an Ostrom do? Oh, you, you'll uh, sell us the bow, matter. though, won't you? I can get you stocked up. You sure will. There she is. Tears of the Land God. So it's a very... Utaru design to the bow. She's got 60 tear damage. Here's the big thing. She's got the tear arrows. She's got 60 impact damage. She's got tear arrows and she's got purge water. There was no legendary or even purple bow for that matter in the base game that was purge water damage and that will become important. So that will cost us 10 champions medals and we're gonna buy it uh, just buy for now we need to upgrade it see that trip caster I'm not willing to give it up defiance it's tempting but I'm also pretty good here Wow it's bright with a uh, sky killer, sky killer and defiance are very close in terms of which one's better. All right, let's save and continue on here. Now that we bought that, he does not have a workbench, so we can't upgrade that bow yet. So we cannot start using it yet. We will. Hey, what's in your box here, buddy? You don't really have any anything out here but a campfire and your pockets is full of stuff, huh? We continue to follow. What we're following is this dragging path. You can tell that Silence drug the orb which houses Hades along this path, and we're following that to figure out where he has taken Hades. And this is the since the embassy, probably the next very critical. Plot point. Oh, hello, Leap Lashers. Crap. Oh, I didn't let go of the arrow either. That's not good news. There's the knockdown. Don't sleep on knockdown strike. So, here in my Valor Surge, I have knockdown shot. Don't sleep on that as an ability. It will bring down machines pretty quickly, especially small ones. What's up, Doc? Hopefully you had a good day. Glad to see work's over for you already. Nope! I had to wait for you to land before I took that shot. You're dead, right? 
Don't even know where your body went. Oh, it's over here. Another one over there. I don't think we need to mess with that one, though. He's not curious. We'll continue to push toward our destination here. I may mention a dock in, in Saber last night while we were sailing. I won't be sailing tonight because I have uh, goes under the hillside. I have plans to do the war through today and then I forgot I had a half day today. And I said that, okay workbench, now let's have a look. So before I started, there's, a re there's Tears of the Land God, so we're going to upgrade you. Overdraw damage. Draw speed. Component tear. Sweet. Glad you're done with the day already. And now we have to have a look at our actual weapon makeup here because we are going to switch that out. We are going to finally retire Death Seeker's Shadow for Tears of the Land God. And on this we have. Component tear shock, which we're not going to... Oh, that brings up an interesting question. I will give up my shock arrows. I'll have to replace that someplace. <sighs> Probably there with another weapon that can do shock, because shock is too useful to not have. I mean, we have the other two useful ones here, in brittle and acid. But the ability to stun is a big deal. So we're going to have to think that through. But we are simply... If we look at the differences between the two weapons at their base value. Um, if you look at that, that is a 69 on its impact. That is a, an 83 on its impact. Same arrow type. There's no way we're not going to Tears of Land Gods. Because that's our primary arrow. And then the tear is a 10 there. We're also going to have the 10, the tear on a reeve, which is a 15. So it gives us two sets of tear arrows. We're certainly going to use that. But the frost is no longer something, or the shock is no longer something we care about here. So we're going to have to discover another shock component, um, probably from stash. But I'm not that concerned about it yet. So we're going to edit the coils. That is a tear, shock, draw, draw tear. So we want two tears, two draws. And then we have to figure out what we want to do with that shock spot. So we'll come over here, we'll edit these coils, and we want to go tear. There's another component tear down here we wanted to grab. Well, that's actually component tear and tear are two different things. Component tear is the better one to use. So we want to have that one there. And then we had draw speed. Draw speed 25. Draw speed 25. Hmm. There's our draw speed 25. And then I think we want to put another tear there. So we have another tear damage 12 there. And I think that's what we're going to put in place of the shock. And then we're going to go give this a, a dry run and a leap lasher real quick. So we're going to change out Tears of Land God for Death Seeker Shadow. So we're going to equip you in Deathseeker Shadow's spot and we're going to go give this weapon a dry run. I have to get used to the idea that this thing looks different. But there was a Leap Lasher floating around down here and I do want to give this bow a go. That is an unidentified signal in the lake. I know what it is, but we'll get to that later. Mads! Terror. Terror. Terror damage would be fun too, but there's our Leap Lasher. Let's go over and have a look at them. See how much different this is. Basically coiled the same. If this is a one-shot kill. That's a big difference. If we can one-shot hit it on its weak spot. And bring it down without having to use a Reeves. That's a big that's a big win. Shots 
We'll wait. Or or not. We'll have a shot at it here. It's half his damage. Okay, we need a better a better test subject later. That hurt. All right. That is weird. The idea that your main monitor couldn't did not have a mouse presence on it, but you were able to interact with it from your secondary, that is weird. All right, Silence. What have you been up to here? We're about to find out. to haul his prize. That is a plow horn. So Silence overrode that machine. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And that door. It looks like a feral facility. Or a zero dawn. All right, Hades, what's going on? Come on, Hades. You still in there? What did silence do to you? What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? Data there, memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Right, because that would have been easy. All right, where is Silence now, buddy? Do you know where Silence went? No, he departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he... Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. And... 
I mean, I kind of know why I left him here. It's a breadcrumb, but let's ask. Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence, and then you find me here. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location is square. What about that signal that turned you into the all life destroying nemesis that you were? Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. <sighs> well, when that signal hit, all of the other subordinate functions of Gaia were also unshackled. What about those? When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious, too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on... Data error and memory structures disintegrate. Bunch of crazed AIs, scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there cooking up trouble? It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deluded. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted in years 254. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override Arms. Resident, state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. Remember to clonk that follow button. Aloy. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. 
As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you... I've produced the results. Burn! Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing. But yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? So one of Aloy's tells that she is in her arrogant mode is when she goes, yeah, when she like whispers, yeah. It's it's very subtle, but it's there all the time. Let's ask first about the Gaia backups. Just to confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Why wasn't Apollo here then? Data complete, Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system, save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? What about those machine riders of Vergala? You know anything about that, Silence? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Here to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? That's a big assumption. It won't. Even if it did, well... The details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. All right. I'll search Zork the facility Zork Glass, for thanks for the backup. follow. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now. I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say thank you, and I say you're welcome. The 
See, there it is. So officially, Zork Glass. Thanks for the follow. The thing with the relationship between Aloy and Silence is that Aloy is far superior warrior compared to Silence. But intellectually, Aloy was always... The only person she had around was Rost. And she was always in her focus for those 13 years before she went to the Proving. And she knew she was intellectually superior to everyone in the Nora tribe. She knew it when she got there. What are you waiting for? And everybody she has ex interacted with since then, she has been intellectually superior to. Except Silence. Who is her better in a lot of ways intellectually. And she can't stand it. And that's why her emotional side comes out in dealing with him. But let's go see what's behind door number one here. I said, hey, what's going on? Are you kidding me? I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a leap lashes power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. Just need to get the parts. We have those parts too, but that's okay. And we don't need to be careful about killing it or detaching the uh, the part first. It'll stay it'll stay attached. So yeah, intellectually superior, but socially stunted. I would say Aloy is also socially stunted again by only having dealt with Rost her whole life. She didn't have the broad social interactions. She can, You can see her fumble at times, especially when it's with people she cares about. They're both flawed characters, which is why they're both so damn interesting. I doubt it, Rocket. The mysterious doofus is your boss. No fun allowed. <laughs> All right, so quest wise, craft the igniter. Okay, so there's a that's why that workbench is up there. I'll head up there, craft the igniter we already have, but the quest requires us to do it again, and then we will head inside. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's 
how I detached the processing warp from the horse in the first place. Great. <laughs> Archie picks his own pocket. Yay. I'd step back if I were you. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, boy. Yeah, then that's when Silent shows how much of a jerk he is when he, he acts like the proctor or the... Shame! Shame! Rocket! Shame. Stop stealing from your friends! moments I'm kind of fortunate the chat's not up on the screen. All right, let's open this door. Boy. <sighs> this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any guy at backups would have been stored. <sighs> I have to find a way to get over there. Shame. Stop stealing from your Shame. friends. Shame. Shame. Data point. <laughs> Arrivals. Text log. Data corruption severe. February 1st, 2065. So this is the time Zero Dawn was being built. Arrival Travis Tate. February 5th. Hernan DeLong. I believe he was the alpha in charge of Eleuthia. Callie Hayden. James Young. Hikori Satu. Travis Tate, Elizabeth Sobeck, Hank Shaw, security team Bravo. So this is a series of alphas coming to the facility and then the security team being dispatched in June 2065. And that is the last entry. Oh, I remember you. Well, this is familiar. Picking my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. Get off that. There we go. I'm go drop that ladder in case I fall. We don't have to do that part again. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. That did it. There are flying machines, yes. Sky Drifter, Glintalk, Stormbird, Dreadwing, to name a few. Another battery here. Let's open this chest. Why have you not rigged wings for yourself? Because it's not in the game. I mean, it's caught on that. Okay. That's why. 
Well, we didn't mean to flip over it like that, but that's what happened. Looks like there is another console that needs power. All right, box, come here. I mean, she has a glider. She just doesn't have anything that can instantaneously give her altitude. I just want the whole game given to her on a platter. Yeah, okay. Let's not be near there. the battery picked up if you don't play it I'll be sad I'm not sure what you mean by that kiwi Who's drop there but welcome in and Travis Tate Imagine them far zenith rab scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling. Then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean... Have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file barren promise ready for transmission. If you would, please. So this is the two of them working on the data packet they sent to Far Zenith in place of the real Gaia that they thought they were stealing. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mom was grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make yeah. sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. Not so I'm wrong. Not so sure. The exceptional walk, a path of solitude, Eloy. This console shut down. And I don't need the cauldron in question, Kiwi. I just need the first Sunwing grounds, which are not accessible until you go over the mountains from No Man's Land into Tanakh territory, because this is NG+. But even once I acquire the thing in question here, and I'm trying to keep the my dialogue spoiler-free because I'm trying to produce this episodically for YouTube as well, once I acquire that item, I still will not use it that often. Um, what are we missing here? That's the door we want. Power's on. <laughs> no, I still knew what you meant. This is still red, even though power is being delivered. Do I need the cell in both? I think yes. There's a second cell I've missed. It's been a while since I've been in here. No, there's only one cell on that wall. We pulled the cell we put in here. 
No, that requires a cell. Ah, so we need that cell opened that door. It is now open for good. We need to put a cell into there. So let's go do that. That's what we're missing, I think. How do we get the cell back up there is the question. I don't think that's it, because there's no way that energy cell goes back over there. That door is now shut. Oh, oh do, 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 do. that's where we fell from. Yeah, that's the same, the other side of this. It's been a minute. Forget this puzzle. Uh, let's jump over. That's the thing I wanted to do. Oh, of course I missed it. We'll run and jump this time. We'll go back and try running and jumping one more time. There we go. Stash this away for later. Okay, there's nothing else up here. That is the door down there. Okay. So, nothing else major that we've missed. Oh, you know what? That's the... Okay, I'm just an idiot. That doesn't complete the circuit. It has to be back in the same place that the, the, the hologram for Travis and Elizabeth was, and that'll complete the circuit up there. But the... So they wanted you to see that. That was not optional. We're on our way now. So this episode will go a little long as well, just because I'm not going to break the episode on YouTube in the middle of a major plot point. Panel up there that I should be able to pull open. Yep, let's lower this ladder though. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. That door does not open. I don't think I can hit that from here. Or I can. Don't think my pole caster can last me that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. We always jump anyway. Ooh. <laughs> it's true. Rocket does not need more money. Okay. This is where they want me to go. Yep, and we gotta glide. But if I glide. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just stay on, thank you. Oh, don't fall off. Is this where we need to go? More of the facility over there. I better take a look. That's not the way, though. I don't think I can hit that from here. Should be able to glide over. Oh. Forecaster can't reach. Okay, so down we go. Stuff. Lots of stuff. Another locked door. What's that console next to it? All right, several lore points in here, so we'll start here. What are you? There's data here. Text log. Bad urges. Travis Tate. <laughs> oh boy. This place turned. Trav here. Dug up some old files from Project Gossamer Thrall back before Hades moved in. Ted ain't nearly as thorough as he thinks. What is little Doobie's had going here? Woo-wee! I'm using some naughty bits and pieces from the Ramses project at that. There's the Moldava brain hack, of course, but also up-and-coming little devils like the know-it-all memer and my personal favorite, Sovereign 7482. Now that's an apex predator. Assume we control them TIDO bots and arming them up with household appliances. Imagine tidying up after that. Gotta admit, It'd be fun to see him hunt in the wild. 
Give him a taste of the good old life before its lights went out. But nah, ain't gonna give in to the temptation. Guess that's what I get for hanging around Lizzie. Or maybe I just don't want to lose that sweet Elysium deal. Got a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. What's this one? Voice recording. Travis got no truck with traitors. So this is the data point that has to do with the mole that Far Zenith put inside Zero Dawn to get their copy of Gaia and how Travis Tate dealt with it. Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Remember to well, flunk that follow button. I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. Look, it got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. <clears throat> Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> so, that corresponds to the visitor log that we saw before, because you saw Travis Tate and Hank Shaw come in on it, and then the security team came in after. But Travis effectively audio-tortured him to death for doing what he did after... He got Hank to help transmit the logic bomb. Looks like this is connected to the door. He needs a code to open. Which we don't have. Seven, four, eight, two, I bet. You do have to love old Trav. There we go. That would be our way up, I believe it is. Alleluia, la, up we go. Another log. Voice recording. The deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. But what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to... Remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before- Goodbye, Tilda. I don't know. Time to let go. Elizabeth sounded sad at the end. 
think this was personal. It was. Tilda Vandermeer is now the second named member of Far Zenith that we know of. There's the door. Getting close. That needed moved, but so does that. Hmm. I don't think that helps us, but why has it got an X on it then? Interesting. Can't jump there either. It's not letting me. There it is. So let's get you cleared up. think we're making that. Feels like I should be gliding from someplace higher. I don't think we can go back though either because we just grappled to get over here. You can glide from here, really? <sighs> nope, rocket lied to us. Rocket lied to us, everybody. I didn't miss a jump or anything. Rocket lied to us in chat. Oh, to the fire gleam. Ooh, well, keep me awake. Okay, it's circled. Why can't I grapple to it? Thank you, game. Mr. Saber in space. Ten months in a row. Thank you for the sub, my friend. And I know you're going to instant disappear because you haven't played Forbidden West yet, so... That's an interesting piece of information they just gave us out of sequence. Here I come. Okay, I'm gonna get to the door from here. Hmm. Matt. Three months of tier one sub to Jamage. Thank you very much. Okay, that also didn't grapple, and that should have. I really don't feel like going all the way back around. But I know I'm also being stubborn. So let's just do it that way. Stop causing ourselves heartache here. I don't think we can hit that one. We'll just go around, do it again. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do this time. Arctic is not fun. Arctic's mean. Wrong way. All right, out the door we go. Oh, I hate you, game. 
game. Fair enough, we'll try that way. It's been a while, I forgot how the puzzle went. I know this one gave me fits the first time I was in here too. And we'll get it done. It's such a, a, it's a picky point. I saw the, I saw the handholds, the first jump attempt. We don't need no silly second ladder, Arky. It would be nice if we had some grenades. I mean, wings. Aha! Okay, so much for the. We'll just edit that to make it look like it did it the first time. Perfectly fine. Hasn't corroded anything I need. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings Are you with fans up in silence? Do you wish to activate recluse spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? I think we'd blow up the Hades backups Hades while we're here, you know. The guy repository stuck. So unstick it. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. Wait, wait, wait. 
It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scared into the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time, even if you did. The mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. What I do. A good one. But it works. west of plain solid close enough for me to go get it i was hoping to find all the sub functions but one's enough to get started right it is recover maneuver one could use it to launch gaia's heuristic matrix and when she's conscious she helps me find the other sub functions i go gather them and rebuild her piece by piece sounds like a plot to me still think i can't save the world on my own uh oh. Oh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot the guy and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First, I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth. Then I track you down and end yours. I'm trying to help you here. Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are. The only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Uh oh. Doctor Sobak, please step inside. Have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone something wrong? Shit. Spectres, fade up. Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. 
What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got her became one. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. They don't actually want me to shoot you a few times. That's not good news. I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. That was a lot of health loss still. This kills all mine. Come on over here, buddy. So I can run a big circle and go over there and get to the console. Nope. Come over here. Okay, that was a lot. Okay, now can we go? Be far enough away now. Do it, do it, do it, do it! I'm not looking at you, buddy. I just want to... You know, I want to survive and stuff. Ow. I, we know that, Aloy. Just shoot the thing.
This will be a different experience. collapsed body went with it right and since when don't you get what you want huh specters search indeed arky So much easier in NG Plus. I don't have to surface at all. Well, I say that, but. What was the point of opening that door, Aloy? Arky, drive safe, have a good weekend. Thanks for hanging out today. Remember to clonk that follow button. That was the point. Down or up? It looks like it's up, folks. I do wonder if I could take down a Spectre right now, though, Rocket. Looks like some kind of power room. A current lead here. Promising. Making sure there's nothing in here I needed.
Riptide. Rip currents are dangerous, man. Yeah, bang you off everything. of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. <laughs> Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains it's west of Plains Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Well, why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. <laughs> It's in Utaru territory, her territory. She can help us, you'll see. Fine, let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, Still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Verl said I should talk to you about the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So? If anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plainsong. There trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble 
everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. So as we bring to, to close what will be another longer than expected episode, we will have our conversation with the Ataru Zo. And as we move forward, try to make sense to what just happened on Latopolis with what appeared to be a clone of Elizabeth Sobek, not named Aloy. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. <clears throat> to answer a question in chat, who came first? Aloy or Beta? The answer is Aloy, by about three to four years. Beta is for sure the younger of the two clones. And if you would like, Rocket, I can post you a video which explains in a time graph exactly how I know that. But to continue the conversation with Zoe. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. So the derangement, again, is pretty much the same time Gaia destroyed herself to stop Hades and Hephaestus was given full sentience and decided that the humans hunting his machines was bad and they became more and more predatory and then the combat variant started coming out. I'll show it once we're done here, uh, Rocket, just so you have the answer. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. It must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they'd fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god 
left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. To be repaired. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors. Each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in the cauldron? It sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. Zoe said she was a grave singer and her place was here, so what's a grave singer in the Utaru tribe? You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. Without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What? could possibly do all that. A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong, assemble the chorus, tell how you soothed Ray, ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. I'm fine. Bed rest. I got it. <laughs> she does not need you to help her heal. You could. Come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. 
I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. So, wait. And that is where we'll leave the episode for a time as Aloy heals from her encounter with who knows who they were at this point. Except they have a clone of Elizabeth Sobek somehow. Okay, well, I held up. So on the YouTube side, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. More episodes to come.